Hi guys! So today I wanted to share with you my bag of empties. Look at that, it's pretty spectacular. Um, I've been probably keeping my products for probably two to three months here. Every time I finish something I throw it in the bag because I wanted to do one of these videos because empty videos are one of my favorite videos to watch because you actually, I find you get a real honest opinion from people who have used all of a product. Sure, you can like test something for maybe a week or two, but then maybe later on it doesn't seem to be working as well maybe. So I like when people actually like finish stuff and then they actually have a real opinion kind of on the product, I suppose, rather than just using it like a few times and then saying, oh, okay, yeah, it's great or it's not so great, but you know, using it consistently until something is all gone, you really know if you love it or hate it or just have no opinion, just kind of neutral on it. So I have my bag of goodies here and I'm just going to kind of start pulling, pulling stuff out and talking about it. So the first one here I've got is Got To Be Guardian Angel. This is a blow dry heat protectant. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I This is the second one I think I've had of this and I love, love, love this heat protectant. It smells amazing. It works. It does miraculous things to your hair and I really enjoy this product. I did end up buying the, I think it's the Thermostique. I believe, um, hair um, heat protectant, and I don't like it as much. It doesn't smell as great. It has a weird like spray nozzle handle thing that always, for some reason, comes undone with me. I don't know why. So I'm not a big fan of that. I am going to be using it up, but I will definitely be going to pick up another bottle of this um, once the one that I have is empty. And I was originally planning on buying this one, but they didn't have it at my at the store that I was at, so I ended up buying the other one that I might as well test it out anyways, it'd be a good time for that. But kind of regret it, would have rather have gotten this one. But that, what can you do now? Oh well, but love this product. Da, da, da. What else is in here? I do apologize if you hear some growling or barking, that is my dog. She's being a little cuckoo. She's being a little cuckoo actually, she sees a little kitty cat outside. She sees a kitty cat. She wants to get it. But you can't. Anyways, <laughs> so the second item here, this is Ocean Salt, and this is from Lush. I just got like a little one of these because I was trying to find a new facial scrub, and uh, they recommended this one as a nice exfoliant. So I tried it. It's okay. Um, I won't be buying it again, I don't think. I didn't like it for my face because I could taste the salt in my mouth. And when I'm washing my face, I don't want to have to taste whatever I'm putting on my face in my mouth. And it just was so salty and it just, I did not like that. Um, I also did try this as a, just a regular like body exfoliant and it's okay, but I have found other products that I do prefer better than this one. So this one's just an okay buy. I think if you really like the taste of salt, maybe you should try this out. But otherwise, it's kind of a hit or miss, I think. You can really like it or... You just don't care for it. So definitely won't be buying this one again, that's for sure. Oh, we've got Yes to Care. This is a nourishing facial cream. And I picked this up because I had heard about the brand before and I wanted to try it out. And it's pretty good. I find it to be a little bit on the greasy side. Um, so as soon as I woke up, I felt like I had to put it on for it actually to like absorb into my skin. So it's not overly great. I also have the night cream now, which I prefer better because I can just throw that on and go to bed and it doesn't matter. But this stuff I couldn't put on in the morning because it was too greasy. Um, and then like I'd have to wait for it all to be absorbed before I could put on my makeup. So I don't think I'll be buying this one again, but the night cream, yeah, I like the night cream, so I buy that one again. But nah. Do, 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 do. We have True Blue Spa. This is a Manolo oil, I think that's what it is. But, um, so I have this one. It was actually a friend who recommended this to me, and I'm glad she did because I absolutely love this. It smells great, and um, it really moisturizes and works wonders on your skin. So, love that. And, yeah, I would recommend this. To anybody who you know wants to try it, um, really 
good. Yeah, sorry. I got distracted there by my dog barking. Anyways, we'll pull something else out of the bag. We have, this is MAC, this is a cleanse off oil. This was my second or third one, I think. I bought a few of these before and I really did like them. I like them. They took all the makeup off, but it was just, I liked it because I took all, all my makeup off at once and then I didn't have to worry about kind of washing my face, but I felt it was just lackluster a little bit. Um, it's an oil, but it actually does turn into like a soap when you put, like when you lather it onto your face. Um, it is good. And I think if you are looking for something that will definitely take off all your makeup at once, this is something that's really good. Right now, I have kind of a different facial um, cleansing ritual that I'm doing nowadays uh, with has more products, yes, but I find it works better for my skin than this one does. Um, this doesn't do a deep clean. It just kind of more or less takes off the makeup that's on your face really well, and that's about it. Um, but it is it is really good for taking off your makeup and making sure that everything does come off. Um, but I would recommend getting something else to then kind of clean deeper into your pores because this doesn't do it. At least it didn't do it for me. So that's my thoughts on that product. We got whoop, the Soap and Glory is the greatest scrub of all facial exfoliator. I love this stuff. This is probably my favorite facial exfoliator. It's really good. Um, it does have really fine, coarse um, exfoliants in it, which I find actually like works. You can I can feel it working, which I really like. Um, and I wonder if you can even smell it still. Yeah, it just smells clean. It just smells really nice and clean. And the packaging is adorable. Um, I love it. So I recommend this. I'm on my, I think, second one of these already. So love, love, love this. And I highly, yeah, highly recommend it if you're looking for a new exfoliant. And I highly recommend trying this out. I'm, I'm pretty positive you will love it. If not, let me know. I've got here, this is the Kerastase. This is a, um, what are we looking at here? It is a heat protectant. That's the word I'm looking for. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I've gone through bottles and bottles of this stuff because it is unreal. I love this stuff. It really nourishes um, and makes your hair silky. It kind of also detangles your hair after you get out of the shower, you put it in, and it smells amazing, and it is a heat protectant as well. The only downside to this product, I find, is that it is so expensive. I used to use it a lot, but now um, I've got a different hair care routine a little bit. I would love to put this back in it, but it's just so expensive, and you, I go through one of these pretty fast I think it probably takes me about three months so I love it but it is expensive so if you if you want to splurge on a hair product or like a heat protecting hair product I highly recommend this one it is unreal that's how amazing it is it's unreal <laughs> so love love this and it's oh it just smells amazing like I can't get enough of the smell of this product um Soon, I hope. Soon. Maybe after the holidays, I'm going to splurge again and get this for my hair because I think it misses it. Mm -hmm. Other thing we've got in here is It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product. This stuff is a staple in my hair care routine. I love it. I've gone through probably three or four bottles of these because they're amazing. They do have a larger bottle and I don't know why. I haven't bought the bigger one, but I, I keep on buying the little baby one for some reason when I should just really spend the extra 20 bucks or 15 bucks or whatever it is and get a bigger size bottle so it lasts me longer. Um, but I'm going to read you what it says it does on the back. So it repairs dry damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, controls fizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, flat iron spray and thermal protectant. So it's a 10, it does 10 things it's supposed to do for your hair. So this stuff is unreal. It smells nice. It, I really like putting this in my hair after I take a shower because it detangles it. And then it also, you know, is able to add that shine. And it just makes my hair feel nice. 
I stopped using it for a few weeks because uh, when I had ran out, I didn't get another one right away. And I totally noticed a difference in my hair. Like it was getting coarse and dry. Didn't like this stuff is amazing. If you have long hair and are trying to grow it out or something, or maybe just, you know, your hair doesn't feel that great because it's been processed so much with color, highly recommend this. I really think you will find a change in your hair and it'll be amazing. You'll be like, wow, why didn't I know about this product before? This is amazing. It is like a lifesaver. So love, love, love this. We, okay, this one is... What is this one? Uh, everything came off on this. Oh, the scrub of your life. Uh, actually, it's called T Flake Away. Um, this is from Soap and Glory. Sorry, all the everything came off in my shower. So this stuff is so messy. I won't be buying this one again. It's just not for me. I suppose it's just. Too messy, you have to like unscrew it. I hate when you have to unscrew things in the shower. I don't know why, but it really bugs me. So that, and then it I, it leaves like a film on yourself and I would always scrub and then I would have to like, you know, put, like scrub it all off again, like with some other soap because it just leaves a film, like a, a white film kind of like on your whole body and I'm not a fan of that. So won't be buying that again. And then I've only got two more things in here. Last two products are from MAC. This is my eyebrow pencil and this is in Spiked. Love this. I use it all the time. I alternate between this and my eyebrow eyeshadow. I'm actually wearing this one today. It's been a while, but I love it. I've gone through three of these. I find they're really nice to apply, like quite easy to apply. And then they also blend in really nicely with like a brush. You can blend it and then you can put powder over top of it as well if you want your eyebrows to be really like bold in statement. Um, so it's great. Then this is, this is supposed to be the Clear MAC uh, eyebrow set gel. And it is this color because I use it over top once I've colored my eyebrows. Um, so it looks disgusting. But this stuff is amazing. I love it because I have quite long eyebrows or eyebrow hairs. And sometimes they do get unruly. So I find this stuff really helps because it sets um, all my eyebrow hairs in place, which is amazing. So it's just like a mascara wand here. And it works the same way. Just brush it through. Love this stuff. It also, um, I usually apply it first. Kind of like to get in there. And then I apply either my pencil Oh, actually not my pencil, but my eyeshadow, um, eyeshadow, my eyebrow shadow in there just so it kind of has a nice base and it will like kind of stick down and stay and then I'll apply it again just to kind of make sure that it's not sticking to the hairs and give a nice final last glance and make sure that my eyebrows stay perfectly still and in place and wasami. I don't know where that came from, but it did. It just happened. It really did. So. Anyways, those are all my empties that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned, please leave a comment below. I'll see you soon. Bye.